and we are not mentioning the kakra. But first of all, no, we are going to ask you a bro, and to ask you a dream in our soul. And can we be here? Today is a glorious day, and we are going to be here because and we are not Jesus Christ to conquer death, and we are not Jesus Christ to edit the world soon. Kunim, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has risen from the dead, and we are free forever. Our Lord has risen. The tomb is empty. Glory be to the Most High God. We will be a happy Easter. When we are this year, so after a metro challenge, I met Christopher. Says he, "Nya one prophecy I used to fulfill here in the Old Testament. I am finding some kind of Bible view. Now, mummy, when you video it, you will hear it also." Jesus says, "So for me to make some one prophecy, ah, Jesus I fulfill it in the Old Testament. I am finding some kind of Bible view." And we are not saying that after a metro challenge, say so. Be to make sure one prophecy I used to fulfill here with Old Testament. Ni mo on fan in San Kabaibu ni biu. Then I kwe Easter idea. Uma mi nyusu a prophecy about his death. E wo Old Testament ni mo e end the Abraham career. Ni ebe hunu prophecy was Psalm 22. Na answer ni ebe kum kurano. Si eka Psalm sa asyechersen. Psalm simply means a sacred song. And I say a holy song, meaning it is connected to God. It has the touch of God. In Genesis, David sorry, I know church on him. He was directed, he was moved by the Holy Spirit to write some songs, which ended up as a prophecy. And in Tina Yesu Kachan is your for no Luke chapter 24, verse 44, and they say, This is what I told you whilst I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled. That is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Into the Psalms, no, and yet the woman in a and a young young keke, a be a prophecy. Now, Mama mean proof, sir. Now, on conclude, you should David, a day trust Psalms, no, I was second Samuel chapter 23, verse 1 to 2. These are the last words of David, the inspired utterances of David, son of Jesse, the utterances of the man exalted by the Most High, the man anointed by the God of Jacob, the hero. Of Israel's songs. The Spirit of the Lord spoke through me. His word was on my tongue. This is David speaking his last words. Ah, Okase, Nyankopon, Ekasafa Nimu, Nana Asem, Ewan Ketremasu. In a verse 1, I described David and Numasem as inspired by the Holy Spirit. In some of the Psalms, now David, Echerono, some of them were prophecies. Now, me has Psalm 22, an Old Testament prophecy I used to ever fail here. Verse 1 My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, so far from my cries of anguish? All who sees me mock me, they hurl insults, shaking their head. He trusts in the Lord, they say. Let the Lord rescue him, let him deliver him, since he delights in him. Dogs surround me, a pack of villains encircled me. They pierce my hands and my feet. All my bones are on display. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. Now, we can compare Psalm 32 with Emra Niyokubo Yesu Asendia, Eo Matthew 27. When they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him. Now, if he wants him, for he said, I am the Son of God. From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness came all over the land. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? In which means Psalm 22, I hear a prophecy about the death of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Now Jesus Christ and so ever fulfilled this prophecy completely. So from Matthew chapter 27, or from John chapter 19, or from Mark chapter 15, Jesus Christ fulfilled this prophecy completely in said psalm 22 at all near the matthew 27 at 20 in china which muse and some psalm 22 verse 1 my god my god why have you forsaken me who compared to matthew 27 verse 45 from noon until three in the afternoon darkness came all over the land about three in the afternoon jesus cried out in a loud voice eli eli lama sabachthani which means my god my god why have you forsaken me is the same thing Psalm 22 verse 7, all who see me mock me, they hurl insults, shaking their head. He trusts in the Lord, they say. Let the Lord rescue him, let him deliver him, since he delights in him. So I'll compare way to Matthew 27 verse 43. I say, he trusts in God, let God rescue him now, if he wants him. 
for he said, I am the son of God. In which means that even the tiniest detail of this prophecy was fulfilled. And he heard Psalm 22 verse 16, echo 18 now. I said, dogs surround me, a pack of villains encircle me. They pierce my hands and my feet. All my bones are on display. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. And I'll compare it to Matthew 27 verse 35. I say, when they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. In Safran Ben Moshe, you'll be very honest. No truth to his word. No dear someone or can swear. In you can't swear in Saka Bible view because he has been refuted. Psalm 22 is a prophecy about the death of the Messiah, and it has come to pass in Matthew 27. In Tianyanom, Midimubesia, the Minshra Muninam, and I and Nijeda Kesia, yes, we was or in the May we show be a happy Easter. Jesus, Ed, you will soon kunim, I'm Yen Yenaya free. The Minshra Munina, and thanks for watching.